Hey guys, this is that panda guy, and I'm here again with another um, video on just the, the game, and so you guys can learn a bit about Pompeii and strategy about it. And I mean, my my strategy is pretty simple. I think a lot of people can use this, especially if you're newer out, because you know when you're starting out, you're gonna need to get a feel for the event. You can't just hop in and know everything. And I'm basically gonna give a little explanation about a good strategy, I guess you can follow, maybe you know play off of. So let's hop into this. This is basically a mini version of the Pompeii map. I'll give a little explanation of how this works, how everything works real quick, and then we'll hop right into it. Um, first off, these are little buildings that give you points. You know, the, the ones further out, of course, give you way more points per minute, but yeah, these are little buildings you get points on. This is the helipad. Happen, every every building's on each side, so if you take helipad on their side, if you take helipad on your side, you can teleport up onto the helipad, near the helipad, etc. These are also little battle train station areas where you can send troops and they throw them further up the field um, at a faster speed so you can just, you know, get to your destination a little bit faster. Um, and I'm going to hop into a, a just, uh, I'd say, a pretty good strategy you guys could follow. And, you know, hope you guys enjoy this video. So, oh yeah, and I first want to start off by saying do not heal in Pompeii, please. Um, I put up, I'm going to be putting up another video around the time I put this video up. Uh, explaining why not to and you know just yeah I mean it's just not really it's not really worth it so let's get into this so I want to start off by saying you probably want to start off by making three groups one you want to actually uh, split off people you want to kind of figure out who's better at leading if you're like the leader of your alliance or you're maybe an R4 just figure out who is a good leader who is who can lead a battle team all that and you're gonna want to split it into three groups and basically, you're going to have one person leading each of them. And I prefer you do this in Discord, where you either have one big call, and you can maybe, you know, have only the team leaders talking and giving orders. Or you could have three calls where all the members can talk in those calls and in each of those, and they can kind of coordinate with each other. And if they really need to in the big call, they could always unmute if something big is happening. And they got to be like, yo, guys, they're, they're about to make a big push here. So, yeah. I want to also say that a big key thing is always send out your writers first. You want to have your writers taking over this, these buildings. It might not seem like a lot, but every second counts, every point counts. It, it's huge. And, and people just don't understand that just moving up to these buildings and taking them over extremely fast can really give you the advantage, the edge. And next, I want to go on to say that honestly, you guys might want to have a little group of maybe like three, four people, maybe more depends on your alliance. Um, who will go around gathering and killing zombies because there's zombies and, you know, little nodes that farm around the map that can give you guys points. And, I mean, everything counts. Everything, you know, is needed. Everything is necessary. You got to really be organized to perform extremely well in this event unless you're just, you know, here to have fun, which, I mean, a lot of people are just here to have fun, but some people want to study this. Some people want to take this event serious. It is a really fun event to take serious, you know? Like, it, it prepares you for strategizing in the real game. So, I mean, and I want to say the next, oh yeah, something that's pretty big. And, okay, so when you're registering from Pompeii, basically you get to register 40 people, 30 people who are active, and the other 10 who are backup plate people for those who might not show up. And honestly, if, if you don't have enough members or, you know, you have a lot of inactive members, don't just sign up a bunch of random people because... If you do, basically it'll give you harder opponents, all that. So if you really aren't sure that someone's going to show up, it might just be better to check them off to give your, you know, your teammates that you know are going to show up an easier fight. You want every edge you can in the Pompa, you know, and this event comes around every two weeks. So it's going to be pretty fun, pretty easy. And I mean, you're going to have your little battlefield fun. Um, next off, this is probably the most important thing, and it's really just understanding your mistakes. You gotta understand your mistakes as a leader. You gotta understand it as a team leader. You gotta understand it as a player on the team when you aren't doing your job. And I mean, everybody should call each other out. It's called criticism, guys. It's not. It's nothing like personal, but you gotta know. You know, you gotta be told about this stuff. And I mean, when you're really doing this big field stuff, you don't really want to keep blaming your members. I used to do this on an FPS game where. I would constantly blame my friends or I would I would blame not my friends but my teammates and I would be like oh my gosh dude they're so bad at holding this or they can't hold sight you know and that's like it's it's such a bad mindset to be in because 
there's no way for you to improve. There's no way for you to evolve and you're evolving. You're just going to be overrun by your opponents. You got to understand that you are making mistakes. You are going to make mistakes. You're human. There's nothing much you can do about that. But you can always look back, learn from that, and avoid making that mistake again. Um, and there's another one. Uh, and it's really... I don't know if you guys have watched my pump by, but a lot of the time I'm like swarming and I'm fighting really hard on the battlefield. And although it works for me, it's a good strategy being that I control so many accounts and it's really hard for me to coordinate as well. I will give it an example. Um, when I move up the left side of the map, I fight with, let's say, maybe 30 marches, right? And the biggest problem is that I keep sending more marches, keep sending more marches, keep sending more marches. Whereas the best strategy for me is probably being more defensive although it's good to be offensive you gotta you gotta actually have marches on the field i am being too offensive and i don't take time to look back sit back on the battlefield and think okay these guys need backup over here or something right because i am hard focusing this one side and maybe i need to just take a step back or for example if you guys didn't watch my helipad fight i fought for around 30 minutes on this left side of the map near a helipad i could have just been better at reinforcing it and gathering back up because it's so hard for them to take it from me as long as I'm reinforcing it properly yet I wasn't really understanding that and I was just having a battle like I was just having a freaking slaughter fest over there trying to contain their members and it, it wasn't really a good way for me to go about it when as I could have just kept defending the helipad and it would have just let me port in all my accounts sooner I would have had so much better of an edge there and that's also another thing going on learning your mistakes I feel like being defensive on this game especially in Pompeii, is really necessary. And I don't know, I feel like I feel like it's really underlooked. And I need to become more offensive of a defensive of a player and make sure I'm actually reinforcing these things instead of just swarming around the field as much, which although swarming around the field is good in certain cases, it wasn't in that case. And I have to really look back and have to understand that I need to quickly evaluate my situation and be like, okay, I gotta stop just sitting marches out and just fighting it out and getting slaughtered and having always go to the infirmary where I'm not going to heal them because I'm not, I'm not, you know, trying to be an idiot and waste my speed ups. And I really want you guys not to heal in Pompeii if you really just want to go a long way in this game. But I hope this video was helpful. And I mean, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys take this to heart. I really do try my best to help you guys improve, help you guys understand the game and help you guys understand these events. So peace out and have a good day.